Welcome back. This week we come to you as we are celebrating the festival of Sukkot and our Shabbat coming up is the Torah reading for Shabbat Chol HaMoed Sukkot with the regular cycle of Torah readings being not quite delayed, but really we have this week Zot HaBracha, the Torah reading at the end of the Torah that we very rarely actually read, except during the weekdays. And of course, after Sukkot, we will transition, roll our Torah scrolls back and start Bereshi once again. Had we been living in the time of the Bible and when the temple stood in Jerusalem, we would be focusing more on Sukkot than we did on Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur. In fact, the tradition calls Sukkot Hechag, the festival with a capital the and a capital fe. Not that it was a fe, but it was on Sukkot that our ancestors what would, uh, would, among other things, make a pilgrimage to Jerusalem, carrying with them the etrog and the lulav, uh, as well as the palm branch and the willow branch, um, and they would present their offerings to the Kohanim in a tenna, in a basket, which is why our etrog and our lulav and hadas and alvot come together in a little woven basket to remind us of that. This would have been a time of ingathering in Jerusalem where the people would come together and they would dwell as we are supposed to do now in Sukkot, in relatively flimsy shelters in which we are outside in the elements as the world is getting colder and a little bit wetter as the fall proceeds. The festival of Sukkot as it is celebrated today is considered less important by some people than Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur, and that's unfortunate. Because after the introspective period of the 10 days of repentance, Sukkot in our post-biblical world is a great reminder of the fact that we are supposed to take the lessons, the repentances, the relationships that we have repaired over the High Holy Day period and now literally take them on the road, literally take them out into the world with us, knowing perfectly well that the sukkah is not going to be pristine, that it's going to be buffeted by the winds, just as our lives are buffeted by the winds and the rains and all of those things that come up during the course of a year, some of which we anticipate, others of which we do not. But Sukkot is there to remind us that the faith, the history, the traditions that we reference back to on Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur are supposed to now come into the future with us and travel with us during this new Jewish year. And so we hope that you're having a great Sukkot, that you're able to visit a Sukkah, if not your own, certainly the temples or someone else's. And as you do so, think back to the ancient temple where our ancestors knew the true meaning of Sukkot which was an opportunity to take the lessons and the commitments made on the High Holy Days with us into the months ahead. Chag Sameach and Shabbat Shalom.